Hi guys, it's Saf and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video, what I want to do is more of like a sit down chatty video about life after uni. Yeah, I don't even know where to start with this, but I thought it'd be good to talk about life after uni, especially during a pandemic. Like it just adds like an extra bit of stress, just an extra bit of recession and an extra bit of not finding a job for months and months and months, you know? I've actually finished uni now for like a month and a half, which is actually mental that's been that long. Cause I still remember the last exam I did and like just finishing that. And now I'm like back at home, I'm not at uni anymore, I'm not a student anymore, like my student ID finished like a, like a couple of weeks ago, which made me so sad that I'm actually not even officially a student anymore. Even though my student ID is run out, my uni days doesn't run out until a couple of months so I'm actually so happy about that because paying full price for stuff is not the one and it's not the person I want to be. I don't want to be paying for full price, I still want to find discounts and stuff. I feel like when I first came back, especially because of the pandemic I actually stayed up I actually stayed up at uni until I had to come down because the lease ended in like um in June um so I actually didn't come back home for six months like literally since Christmas which was crazy so I think after all of that coming back home I kind of felt like I wasn't home for long and I was just home for Easter because I hadn't already been home yet so my brain hadn't like caught up of like oh no we're like staying here for good like this is not just you're coming down for a, a couple of weeks and then you're able to go back up I mean to be fair that only lasted like a week and then I was just like oh shit no I am staying here and when I realized that I did cry <laughs> um I did cry for sure because I think it's just kind of like scary now that your life is literally now in your hands and that you can do whatever you want with it if that makes sense. I hope someone can relate because these are just like the thoughts that I've been thinking because before it'd be like this is summer holidays and then in September I'm back to uni again. I have something to look forward to, I have something to prepare for but now because it's not like that and like September is just another month now. It does feel really like, it just feels weird and scary. Like, I was kind of like saying this to my boyfriend as well. It's kind of like, if I just stayed here and did nothing and just did like the bare minimum of a job and paid rent and stuff, I could like, you could just live your life like that then. Like for the rest of your life, you know? I, I feel like I don't even know if I'm making sense. But there's like, there's nothing now forcing you to do anything because uni was that force and even though you didn't have to go to lectures and stuff, you still had to do the exams, you still had to do coursework and do like, I don't know, little assignments here and there. And the fact that now, like I'm not in education, like whatsoever, and it's all like down to me, like I have to now find the job and find the career that I want to do and like try out and stuff and I don't know, I just find that really, um, like quite daunting I guess and I've got anxiety too, so I am actually quite worried about even job-wise and what the environment's going to be like. So I'm just getting worried about like thinking of different careers I want to go down and then being a bit anxious of like, oh my gosh, but what is this career even like? Like there's a lot of careers I've never even tried before and I'm like, what does it entail? What what would I have to do? Like, is there anything that's going to be like scary that I have to do? And like, I don't know, I'm just kind of overthinking it for sure and then there's like pressure for like I'm staying at my mum's and I need to pay rent so I need to find a job and it's like I don't know it's just it, I feel like it's a lot and it's like on top of me and I need to start applying for jobs properly I need to sort out my CV and stuff like I started and then I just stopped <laughs> I'm being really like stagnant with like getting the CV and everything done because I just feel like a bit like whoa like everything is moving too fast and at the same time it's not because obviously we have a pandemic and things are kind of closed even though things are opening up again I think maybe that's why too like because things are opening up again I feel like the world's just kind of moving fast again and I'm like I just graduated even though it's been a month and a half now in my head I'm like I've just graduated I need a second but um like I haven't even unpacked which is really bad I've been here like at home for a month and I haven't fully unpacked. I've only unpacked like half, which is really bad, but I think I'm just kind of like wanting everything to freeze. So I'm just like, as long as there's a suitcase there, there's still some clothes, I'm still not, I'm still a student, even though I'm not, and that doesn't make any sense. But um, I guess that's just how I like, how I'm like thinking about it in my head. Um, and that like, it's not permanent if there's still a suitcase there and there's still clothes, like I'm still going somewhere, even though I'm not. 
Um, I, I really hope this makes sense. I feel like maybe to some graduates this will make sense or like people will just be like, no, you sound crazy. Um, since it's only been a month and a half, it's not like a, tr this is just like more my immediate feelings on graduating and not being a student anymore and stuff. Like, um, I think maybe it'd be cool to do a one year update or something because um, I know obviously I'm not gonna feel the same way like now as I will in a year once I'm actually in my job and like stuff like that. But yeah, I just, I guess, now being like a fully adult person like i know i guess before i never considered myself as an adult i considered myself as a student like a student adult you know but like now it's just like oh no you're just an adult adult <laughs> like there's no student before that so yeah i think that's kind of like hard to adjust to a bit like the fact that i'm not a student because if someone asked the first thing that i would say would probably be student but then i'd be like actually no i'm just an adult <laughs> like unemployed adult <laughs> So um, yeah, I mean, I'm really curious of how this job hunt is going to go. Um, I can keep you guys updated if you're interested, see how that goes. I mean, I'm hoping that it doesn't go too badly, but I had to do, I had to do placement in my um, course because I did accounting and finance and that was a headache and a half to try and find a placement. So let alone find a job now during this crisis even though I actually don't want to go into finance but that's a whole nother thing. I think for me personally I need to set myself some type of like goal because I don't like this feeling right now if I feel like after uni I've just like I'm drifting. I mean I know it's only been a month since I'm actually back but I just feel I just feel like I'm drifting and like I'm just floating like going with the flow and I saw this amazing quote which I really love I'll put it up here too and it says only dead fish go with the flow and I was like yeah that's so true because I always try to be the person of like oh yeah just go with the flow just chill blah 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 but I just feel like I know I'm, I'm not that person I'm not the go with the flow person I'm just like I like somewhat planning stuff I like having goals and I'm okay with that like that's just what I, I need obviously certain things you go with the flow but like not with this I think this is a big thing for me where I'm just like just I feel like stagnant and I am like the dead fl flesh <laughs> and that I am this the dead flesh flesh why do I keep saying flesh fish and it is like I am like the dead fish like going through the waves and just like doing that and I, I hate that feeling it feels like I'm not like in control of my life right now so yeah those are just my thoughts about life after uni and how i'm like feeling right now but i'm sorry if it was a bit of like a blurting out random stuff it's really hard to like explain it but i think if you're a graduate you can kind of understand what i'm feeling a bit um i just don't want to be a dead fish okay that's all that's basically what i'm trying to say yeah thank you guys so much for watching this and listening to this um comment down like how you felt when you graduated or if you're at uni now and like how you're feeling if you like this video then please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!